It's just hours away from a Flaming Lips show at Oklahoma City's Zoo Amphitheater. It's not just any show. The Lips are premiering a new feature in their already spectacular stage production, A Flying Saucer. It is yet another figment turned reality from the fertile imagination of Wayne Coyne. And the mothership thing, to make a long story short, I think he just threw that out in an interview like, yeah, next thing you know we'll be arriving in a spaceship and that's going to be our new show. I think he just sort of flippantly threw that out. Some of it just is, is purely, wouldn't it be great if a band did that and, oh, we're in a band, why don't we do that? Wayne Coyne is all over the stage. No detail escapes his attention. If he weren't an international rock star, he might have been just as happy being a roadie. I couldn't just sit here and let people do it all day. I have to be up there and just, you know, I, even even do rehearsing the space bubble walk that I'm going to do off the front of the UFO. How many times do you talk to a guy that gets to say that as a sentence? <laughs> I'm going to grab your leg while you're, like, right at that point. I'm going to push your, you know, grab most of your leg. Well, so do the best you can. All right. yeah, just don't, don't drop me. My drive... Um, makes me look a little insane once in a while, which I think works great in art. Probably wouldn't work great in all professions, but it works great in art, don't you think? Art is a word you hear often when you talk to Wayne Coyne, because to him, this is art. Making music is one thing, but the stage is like a canvas where a musical experience is layered on one stroke at a time, and each performance is a standalone masterpiece, hence the need to make it right. This is not your normal band, not your normal show, and not your normal life. No, it's not, but it's been pretty normal for me. Wayne and I have been together since 1989. Michelle Martin Coyne's cameras chronicled the Flaming Lips journey from local band to Grammy-winning rock innovators. Her pictures are gathered in a fascinating book, Waking Up with a Placebo Head Wound, which is a reference to Wayne's fondness for fake blood as a stage prop. There was an interview with Werner Herzog's wife, and she said, you know, if I didn't go out on sets and photograph my husband, we would never see each other. And I say that all the time. I'm in the same boat. Of all the, of all the, the, um, the shows that the Flaming Lips have played, um, this one... Why is this one? Why is this one become the, the moment for us? Well, this is this is our home. I may not live here, but this is this is the home of the Flaming Lips, and yeah. this is going to be the first UFO show. And you were playing at I mean, well, you can't we're playing the biggest crowd we could ever play to here. This is crazy. Well, not only the biggest, but the best. Let's go! In the end, it all works. The mothership lands amid the noise and the spectacle that is the Flaming Lips. And the crowd has Wayne Coyne in the palms of their hands, and they are likewise captivated. It is performance art on a grand scale. Gouts of confetti, dancing aliens, comic book characters, and bouncing giant balloons. Wayne Coyne is a boy with many toys, and the best part is, he's willing to share. I truly love music and I love this, even this way of, you know, you get to create an experience for everybody and all my friends and my family and everybody's here together and these are just, these are just magical moments. Magical!